Going on the siren. Go, 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 go. It's a battle. It's not a normal battlefield, but these soldiers must overcome obstacles along the way. Whew, I'll tell you. <laughs> the Military Battle Challenge is a friendly competition between the U.S. Armed Forces that's hosted by the same group that started the Firefighter Combat Challenge that's seen on ESPN. This obstacle course is made up of training challenges soldiers experience every day, and they compete for the fastest time and the ultimate bragging rights. No matter the challenge, the soldiers are ready for anything that comes in their direction. It was time to push your body and your mind at the same time. But it doesn't mean it'll be easy. It, it's pretty difficult, especially at a guy my age. You know, I'm 30. I shouldn't be out here doing all this. Age is but a number. I ran the obstacle course second time this weekend. But for 70-year-old Sergeant Major Clinton Parnell, one digit can make all the difference. Uh, one, one second better. <laughs> And in the military, timing is everything, and practice makes perfect. While it might look like all fun and games to the average person, organizers say it's more than just a friendly competition. Being physically fit for a challenge like this uh, might be the difference maker on the battlefield. I think they get it. You know, this is what they train for, and they look at this as a uh, as a real good simulation of what they might run into in battle. They may have to drag their buddy 100 feet just to get him out of the middle of the fray. Real life scenarios making training more secure and efficient. It's about the same as real training exercises, except for the weapons are safer. Uh, plus, you don't have to spend three hours cleaning your weapon after you get finished. When asked if he could take on the challenge a third time. Yeah, maybe. I got to call home and get permission from my general, my wife. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do it today. <laughs> training today that could save a life tomorrow. In Eastover, Nick Jones, Carolina News.